And now in this segment, we talk a little bit about this uh, aspect of holistic health and health and wellness. And in fact, uh, on the 27th of July, for all of those uh, listening in who are in KZN on the 27th of July at uh, Kloof Country Club, there is a Body and Mind Wellness Day. This is the brainchild or the brainchild behind this is Tracy French. And uh, in my conversation with Tracy, she says, when I asked her what motivated her to be involved with this work, she said uh, to educate, celebrate and enjoy life uh, while taking care of yours, taking care of others around us and uh, believes in this uh, importance of health and wellness. And especially in the context that we live in, in this political context, uh, with the economic challenges, uh, with our history, it's important also uh, to reflect on uh, what holistic health is all about. And I have three special guests in the studio. Um, I have uh, Dawn Cameron, who is a chirologist based at uh, Breathing Space Glenwood. Um, who focuses on healing therapy um, with a special with special attention on hands, the language of uh, the hands, and we'll hear a little bit about that in a in a moment. Uh, we have uh, Wendy Wotherspoon, who's from Pure Rejuvenation Holistic Body and Skin Care Salon, and she assists people to restore their health holistically using essential oils, reflexology, and massage. And then we have uh, Maureen Edgecombe Radham, who is a professional artist, uh, specialized a kinesiologist and holistic coach. And she facilitates color therapy workshops. And she has a passion to help people overcome artists or writer's block and realize their full creative uh, potential. And these three guests are here in studio because they will be participating on July the 27th. Uh, at the Body and Mind Wellness Day uh, set of talks. So welcome to, to Dawn, to Wendy and Maureen. Thank, Thank you. Then. Thank you for having Lovely us. Lovely to be here. It's wonderful to have you in studio. And uh, let's get started for listeners uh, who may be interested in this uh, Body and Mind Wellness Day on July the 27th. What is that all about uh, in a nutshell, um, uh, Dawn? How about telling us a little bit about that day? Thank you so much, Lance. Um, so the Body and Mind Festival on the 27th that will be held at the Kloof Country Club is a wonderful opportunity for your listeners to pop up there and experience a day of entertainment and knowledge sharing. There's going to be a lot of different people with services available in health, healing, wellness, um, personally, this will be the first time that I will be at the, the Kloof Country Club. I'm really excited about that. And what I will be doing is focusing on the language of the hands um, and assisting people unpacking their strengths, weaknesses um, through, through their hands, their gifts and their talents. Thank you. Um, Maureen, what motivated you to, be, to, to participate in this day and exactly what will you be focusing on in your talk? I'm a, a holistic coach. I've had a lot of success with the people that I've worked with individually. Uh, very easy for me to sit in my world and um, kind of hide. Anyway, the challenge came, put yourself out there. So I did and um, I got hold of Tracy and said, yes, I'll do a talk. And it's led to this. So it's about educating people into what is available. And when a person works as a holistic coach, you work with people individually, you help them to realize their personal potential, develop personal mastery, understand the story that the inner critic is um, playing out, what their blocks and challenges are. And many people are unaware consciously of what it is they are saying to themselves. So I take them through this process and help them unpack, as I call it, the monkey in the basement. We all have our monkeys in the basement, but the thing is, does the monkey control you 
or do you control the monkey? So what do I do? I teach people how to tame their monkey. And um, <laughs> so this is different from the. I know how to now. tame my monkey. Chicken licking. Okay. I know the ad, but when it's stuck here, I just go get some chicken licking. Uh, not quite, but anyway, <laughs> you know, when they do learn how to do this, they become more resourceful in their lives, more aware. There's peace. There's just a change, and they move from this translation, which discussing it now is the translation into transformation their families start seeing wow this person's changed their friends see it they feel it they feel more peaceful they ultimately don't take themselves and their inner dialogue so seriously because most of my clients that I have worked with for over the past 30 years think that because they think something that's who they are but it is not who they are. Your thinking is your conditioning. Okay. And the sooner you realize that, the more liberating things become and more exciting. Okay. No, Wendy, uh, is, is your focus, uh, does it overlap with uh, what uh, Dawn and Maureen have shared or is it something quite distinctive? Um, good evening. Uh, it is co a collaborative work that we all do as healers. We all have a modality that we like uh, we all have a modality that we like to work with. It's all, always, always around healing and helping the person that we're working with to find their own true voice and their own true self. So irrespective of the healer that you choose or the healing modality that the, the therapist is using, um, as long as that fits with you, fits with your family, and helps you ultimately to um, get to your goal, whatever your goal might be, uh, your goal of healing. It might be a physical healing, it might be an emotional healing. Um, whatever that goal is that you are looking for, the healer or the holistic facilitator, the holistic therapist will get you to your end point and assist you on the way to clear your mind, have a open happy heart and um, ultimately get you to wellness uh, we have some some therapies I do reflexology aromatherapy and various types of massage I am also I also do body and skin care um, but I find that I prefer to work in the holistic realm so if you're having a facial I'm looking at your lines and thinking What's going on inside that body that's creating that line on the face? How come that's there or that pimple or that line of pimples? What's going on inside that's reflecting on the outside? Such an interesting statement that you just made there, Wendy, because I've always had this understanding for the longest time that you can never hide from anyone what is actually happening within you because ultimately whatever is within you will reveal itself on the outside, whether it be through lines, whether it be the way you speak, your outbursts, your mannerisms, it truly does reflect what is in the inside. You can never actually hide it. I know people say that we can put on different poker faces. No, you actually cannot. You can suppress. You can suppress. And it, even in your that suppression, you can very, actually release an energy yeah. that you are actually suppressing something. Mm. Yeah, mm. That's what's so interesting yeah. about that. Hands, because what you, we do with hands is that we're able to identify our personality traits yeah. and your temperaments. Yeah. And talking about the, um, suppressing, Maureen, mm -hmm. you're able to then identify a character defect or a personality um, attribute that you don't particularly like yeah. and you're able to then work with it through the various modalities. Because we're not one, we're not um, good or bad. Sure. We are both and we have to embrace what we would so call the bad. We have to embrace it. We have to embrace our shadow. Yeah. We have to embrace our shadow. We can't hide from our shadow. Yeah. We have to say, come, let's go. If you're scared, yeah. let's go. I'm mm. hearing a lot about monkeys and shadows and stuff like <laughs> that. Like, why yeah. don't people know about this stuff? Like, why do they have the same 
syndrome that you have that it's we a just hide. It's a misperception. Mm. It's the same misperception that is held around creativity. Sure. If you, w- when I do a talk, I will say to the, the group, who of you regard yourself as creative? Mm. And some people put their hands up and some people don't because yeah. they associate creativity with art- artistic expression. Mm. But it's not because we are human beings. We are creative 100% of the time, sure. all the time. Therefore, Creativity is not only good and marvelous, it can be very destructive. Mm. So when you realize that creativity is happening all the time, 100% of the time, you look at your own life and you say, so what am I creating? And then you take responsibility for it. And when you take responsibility for it, you can unpack it and deal with it. Mm. Mm. But it's Mm. in doing that. And then your question was, how come other people everyday people don't don't know about this walking with your shadow walking with your so-called bad i think they do i really think they do they Mm. just don't know how to voice it and they don't know how to articulate it how to say it to themselves so with an understanding of Mm. if that means that's inside me does that mean i'm a bad person no it doesn't it just means we need to facilitate bringing the, the the more generous, loving self to yeah. the fore mm. while embracing your faults. Mm. Yes, yes. That's also, what it is. It's just a fault. There's also another aspect. It's the ego. Yes. Mm. And this is such a Doesn't that love in males? I don't know. Doesn't that in males? I don't know. I don't know why everybody's looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> the ego, is, it does have its value. You yeah. need to find it. It's what we call taming the ox. Okay. You look that up on, on the web, you'll see some, some lovely poetry and such like from the East about taming the ox. Mm. The ego, we do need to find it in our lives and we need to see the ox and see it's there. We need to capture that ox. ox. We yeah. need to be able to ride it. We need to be able to tame the ox. So not only the monkey, but the ox. So, and so, so let it go in the end. So in your experience, okay, you, you're meeting with clients, yes. uh, working through different issues. Yes. Um, is there something of a trend like uh, can, can you say that most people are struggling with this particular issue or that particular issue yeah. or 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 issues in this realm or in that realm uh, or is it just all all over the place I, I have got from my experience with working with people and coaching one of the things that is a bad habit in communication and conversation is going into the win lose I'm right you're wrong that is a very common thing so um, relationships, people can be very different. Like, for, for example, my husband and myself, I'm very, very uh, right brain creative. Gestalt, my husband is very logical. And in the early, early days, it was, I'm right, you're wrong. But when Chris and I matured enough to realize that there's no right nor wrong, it's just that his way works better sometimes and my way works better other times, we have got this fantastic relationship mm. now and it's respect and honor mm. and adding to right yeah. and wrong and maturity um, age does not dictate maturity right. eq in, really? in emotional Very intelligence much. Much. my whole life yeah. <laughs> emotional <laughs> intelligence helps with uh, maturity so if you start working which brings back to your question yeah. if you start working on um, knowing yourself knowing your trueness early on so mm. if we can get the the clients early if we i work with families okay so i start with maybe the mum while she's pregnant okay. um, and then the baby is born and then um, that baby s- sees me all the time with the mum and i become familiar they know my face um, one particular baby didn't want me to touch her for years, two, three years. Mm. But the other day she found my lipstick. And when I saw her the next time, she liked my face. Good. So if you start engaging from an early age, yeah. then their conversations that they're having with themselves become a healthy conversation mm. right from the beginning. I but wonder, I, wonder I think if too, um, I think most people, we would probably look at... Um, in my opinion, the the spiritual yes. side of your your life, your emotional side, your physical side, yes. your intellectual side, um, I, I really do think at different times in our lives we have challenges, um, or that shadow comes up in those different areas of our life, yes. and it's how we are engaging and the 
the conversations that we are having with our loved ones, with our friends, and working through those challenges. Yeah. Dawn, why why would a client go to you and maybe not to Maureen or Wendy? Not in terms of competition or rivalry, but but sure. what what is distinctive, special about what you are doing that will actually motivate someone to see you specifically? So for me, I think that first of all, there has to be a, um, a synergy between myself and somebody will be attracted to my modality um, because it resonates with them. The, the language of the hands is just an absolutely phenomenal um, modality because it's, it's um, I'm trying to think it's, of it. it it's the, 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 the brain. It, it's very accurate. It is a, a, a mirror of whatever's going on psychologically is on your hands. You don't need to spend hours getting to know somebody because you can really analyze and unpack a person by looking at their hands and identifying the different areas. We look at a five realms um, on the hands and the, the, the different areas being it physical, spiritual, mental, emotional. So, so could you give us just a taste, like uh, in terms of something, an example, something on on someone's hand that you will look at, yes. and, uh, and it says something to so you. So, with the with the hand shape, there there are four main shapes that we look at. That would be identifying somebody's personality type. Mm. Okay, so um, Leishley, let me look at your hand. You would definitely have a an air shape, a, a, a water shaped hand. We look at the shape of your hand. I look at the length of the fingers. Um, we then look at the nail shape and size, and that is all that we relate everything back to the elements because the elements are a universal language. It's not loaded. Most people can relate to that, mm -hmm. and it really explains the different personality types and um, temperaments and characteristics. I wonder if there's a link between what society teaches our children from like preschool into primary, high school, even into tertiary, even into the working world that contributes to the stresses and this thing of being blocked into being one thing that makes people say, you know, what, I'm trying to find myself. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, Dan. please. <laughs> being the artist, I've integrated the art with the with the. Um, energy medicine, one of the things I've noticed is that right from early age, we train our children not to play. Sure. They don't know how to play. They actually, if you look at essential creative processing, mm. if you look at a tiny child playing, now I'm not talking about school child, but tiny child playing, they totally present in the moment, yeah. absolutely focused in the moment. They haven't got an ego. They're not sitting there and saying, oh, goodness, I wonder if this is going to be good enough, whether so and so is going to <laughs> like this or not. They're not sitting there thinking, mm, well, I'm spending three hours on this project now. I wonder if that's going to be a valuable three hours and, and, and end gain. Okay, mm, so mm. there's lots of these assessments running um, with people that have been unconditioned to being able to be totally essentially focused. And yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of taught to our children at a very early age. So it's learning to play again. It's 9 p.m. time for the news. Come on, this What we need is love, As we sail across the sea of life, so much pain, war will be bad. It's a shame we don't see how it can be. Oh, we need to smile at each other, wish for your brother, help one another. All we need is love. All we need to honor our mother, shelter our sisters, all to existence. God's help will come from mother. But first, we need the love. <laughs> Flames, hatred devours 
Let's spark the change that's within all of us. Oh, we need to smile at each other, reach for your brother, help one another. All we need is love. Welcome back. You are still tuned into Radio Island Star, and this is The Bottom Line, the best current affairs show. And if you've been listening to this amazing show, you know that we have three amazing ladies here today who are talking about wellness. And just before we went to the ad break, we were talking about something so important about being structured your whole life. And what we picked up is that it's not only about just the education part, but it's also about your body and your physicalness coming to play to create a holistic view of what a person can be. But because you're running out of time all the time and we're such in a hurry, I'm going to give our lovely ladies one minute each just to let us know what this amazing event is about at Kloof um, this coming. When is it? You're 27th. Gonna, the 27th. All right. I'm going to kick it with you, Wendy. You let us know one minute each, ladies, and let us know what do we expect as South Africans. Okay, so on the 27th of July at the Kluth Country Club, we'll all be doing a free talk. So you don't have to pay for the talk. I'll be doing my my section at 4.20 p.m. And I'll be talking about what your face and your feet, reading the face and the feet, the lines and the colors, what that can show about your health, your well-being, your emotional intelligence, and how I we can together work together to make you um, the best version of yourself Mm -hmm. going forward. That's absolutely amazing. Let's kick it next. Okay. The talk that I'm doing is at um, 2.20 and I've called it the adventure of exploring you, Mm -hmm. self-actualization and higher functioning. So I will be talking about the coaching, but I actually have a table there where I have got my color therapy with masses of glass pebbles, different colors. It is so wonderful to come and see, put your hands in those beautiful pebbles and get the feeling. Uh, It's an experiential process of feeling your in a, I call it a thermometer, the, the Come on. energize or, or de-energize whatever. So it's it's there on offer to come and see and have a chat. Absolutely amazing. Last but not least, go and let us know what you got. Leishle, I will be doing a talk at 12.20 right. and I will, my talk will be what the hands, the secrets of the hands and what they reveal. And um, mm-hmm. everyone's welcome to come through. I actually take an ink print of each person's hand yep. at my table and then we'll decipher, decode and focus on each person's specific characteristics, yep. strengths, gifts and talents. That is absolutely amazing. I think it's going to be an amazing event. I think it's actually something different to take away today. If you are stuck in the religious rut or you're stuck with the busy, stressful life of the social, economic way of living and it's holding you down, please don't miss this opportunity on the 27th to be at Kloof. Um, you're going to be there. Kloof? Yes, Wendy? Country Club. Country Club. They're going to be there. From 10 o'clock to 5. 10 o'clock till 5 o'clock. Get yourself there. Experience something different. Unravel yourself and enjoy the best life. But that's it with our lovely ladies today, Cliff. Yeah, thank, thank you very much uh, you. to the three of you for coming all the way. Thanks <laughs> also, Tracy, thank for uh, initiating uh, this day. And uh, we wish you all the, all the best. Thank you, uh, thank yeah. You so much. And we'll pick up this thank conversation you. again uh, in, the, in the future. <laughs>